Morning guys, Scott from SE Landscaping. It is 6am on Saturday morning and we're out cutting grass at the moment. And the first job of the day is for this company here, who you might recognise off Dragon's Den. And basically we cut the front grass verge for them every 10 days um, at the front of the site. We, we, we used a hater on this job just gets a nice finish when the, when the sun's not there so that is the first job done and I'll explain why we're out on a Saturday morning in just a second so as I was explaining guys Saturday morning um, it's the first job done for um, a lady off the Dragon's Den who owns uh, that business, Crafters Companion. It's a crafts business, it's a worldwide business and this is the head office. So that's the first one done, on to the next one. And the reason I'm out on a Saturday morning is because last year I managed to get away with not working many Saturdays because we were fully staffed. Um, to cope with the workload and the guys were doing the odd Saturday here and there where we needed to. This year, a few weeks ago, unfortunately, one of my guys decided that he was leaving um, peak season and he decided he was going for a career change. Um, now the thing is, in our trade in the northeast, I do monitor one of the people pay and I pay higher than any other landscape company in our area, even the big, even the bigger firms um, who pay people a pittance, eight pound seventy an hour or whatever it is, um, well above um, what these guys pay. So it was a bit disappointing, um, but he had another. He, he he had two skills and he chose to go to the other, to opt for the other skill that he had. Um, so there was nothing. There was nothing I could do about that, which was a bit disappointing. So that's the reason that, uh, hence I'm working more Saturdays, and today I'm out just with a small van and a small machine, no big plant today, and I've got the last job you saw, I've got around 14 of those to do today, each take 20 minutes, half an hour, so it's not a bad day really, um, just with the hater, and a little bit of battery gear, battery strimmer and things. So I'll get you a bit of footage on this, um, this second job, um, so stay tuned. So job number two, front and back of a factory, and um, this is the back area first, just box this off.
wet grass. And after each job. Just give the bag and the machine a blow out. A lot of guys have issues with uh, the bags and if you don't blow them out each time um, they won't bag and the grass just gets stuck in the chute. You can see how wet it's been overnight. We've had a lot of rain and that's picked up um, that job there and in one one bag and it's uh, like I said it's bagged everything up so just clean your equipment out each uh, each job is the tip. So guys, just heading to job number five. Unfortunately, due to um, forgetting the spare batteries in the GoPro, um, I was hoping to get a bit more footage today than I'm actually gonna get, which is a shame. Um, but like I say, I'll get uh, I'll get this one filmed and possibly another one. Because I'm really running low on battery, unfortunately. So stay tuned. So this is the next one, we do 4 or 5 on this street so they're all quite close together, which is good.
So, another job done guys, um, what we do here is cut the grass, we kill these car park edges once a month as well, extras include obviously trees and pruning. So guys, um, the last job that you saw, which was the one previous to the one I've just done, um, people don't tend to talk much about pricing on, um, on YouTube. I just want to give you a rough idea. A site like that, um, we cut the grass and obviously we kill. Anything else is an extra, so the leaves that's picked up in the winter, the tree pruning, the shrub pruning is all extra. Um, and a job like a typical job like that, um, we get £45 for. So, yes, days like this where you're in and out of jobs in 10 minutes, you can make some really good money. Um, but I will say not every job is like this. Sometimes I can be on a ride on, um, which is costing more to run on the same amount of time, and we get the same amount of money. Um, because some some sites are quite competitive to price. Um, sites like this, um, the, well, the previous one I've just shown you, um, we were the cheapest a number of years ago. I haven't actually increased the price on that for three years. Um, basically because as I say we're getting good money for it I know some people increase the prices every year but some jobs we don't need to and um, there's enough in it and we don't want to get too greedy where the client has to go out to tender so A the client's happy with the job B we're getting good money for it and everybody's happy so that's uh, that's a bit of an explanation on on price and works. Like I say, not every day is like this where you're making um, you're making really good money for just over a morning's work. Some days, like I say, contract work and other things um, where you're tendering lots of prices together for for various areas. So in a parish, we might be putting six or seven different areas. Um, sometimes the rates aren't as good, but. Um, you've still, at the end of the day, you've still got to make money, so days like this are nice. So guys, just making my way back to the unit, that's 14 jobs done actually before lunch, um, 11.30. One or two of them were really, really short, didn't get any grass off them, but um, the good thing with contracts is it's a bit different. Private work is they pay you for 14 or 16 visits a year. so whether there's grass on it or not you're getting pretty much paid to do nothing uh, i know that sounds daft but that's the way the, the tender and the contract is and a lot of contractors do do the same as i do you, you get paid for for what you do so that was good um it has been showery on and off so like i said earlier um blowing the bag out of the machine after every use is key but as well as that on smaller areas you can actually blow the the dew and the wet off the lawn which makes it or the or the piece of grass which will also make it a bit easier and then it's not holding as much water so spend two minutes blowing off and you won't be emptying your bag every two minutes so that's another another quick tip for anybody using small machines uh, I touched on earlier about me being out on a Saturday because we remember a staff short um, that's going to continue till the end of October because I don't plan on replacing the member staff um, the good news is once October is over um, and the grass cuts back then I can cut back on the weekends and um, it's potentially going to save me about 15,000 because I don't plan on replacing him till March so the money I'd set aside on the winter for training him as well as the wages and everything else all the costs I'm 
going to be about £15,000 better off this year by um, by working these few weekends and not replacing the member staff. Uh, like I say, in the winter I find work for the lads, I don't lay them off, I'm not one of these companies, a lot of companies up in our area, the seasonal work, I tend to keep my lads employed all year round. Um, I wouldn't like to be laid off just before Christmas, but unfortunately some people um, see money on the bottom figure more important than, uh, than these guys, uh, these guys having an income all year round. So that's, uh, that's a point that, uh, that I'll make. Um, looking towards next week I've got a couple of new machines coming on demonstration I've got the steel battery mower with the large battery pack in um, so it'd be interesting to see how that gets on and I've got another first in the form of a, um, a stander but a bit wider than the uh, right one we've got which is I believe a 36 this is going to be a 48 uh, stander so I think yes I did I got it for uh, mulch so It'll be interesting to see how that gets on. Um, that's looking towards next year because the guys love the standards. Um, it's cutting down on the walk behind machines to make their jobs easier. So we're just looking to see what we're going to buy in March. And this uh, this first um, looks like a good good bit of kit. So stay tuned for those um, couple of machines. Hopefully next week, if not next week, the week after and thanks for watching and if you can give a like and subscribe to the channel that would be great and uh, we will see you on the next one have a good day guys